to Q Howard. Good evening. Today is Wednesday, September the 24th, and this is my last broadcast. Yesterday, I announced on this program that I was going to commit public suicide, admittedly an act of madness. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I just ran out of bullshit. All right, cut him off. Leave him on. Am I still on the air? If this is how he wants to go out, this I is don't how know he goes. Ah, capitalism. Topic so prevalent in the modern world that there is rarely anything new to say about it. But Paddy Chiefsky rarely expresses something that isn't fresh and new. And Sidney Lumet rarely shows an idea in a way that isn't iconic. When these two forces come together, you get the 1976 masterpiece, Network. Network is about a news anchorman named Howard Beale who has a personal revelation and threatens to shoot himself on live television. After this scandal blows over, he starts launching into angry rants about the way the modern world is collapsing. This results in a huge ratings boost for the network and allows a producer named Diana Christensen to promote more outrageous programming. A premise like that alone would make for a great film. The network isn't content with being a great film. And so it goes further, mining its core idea for everything it's worth. Nothing is saved from Chevsky's witty and bold criticism. Sidney Lumiet is always a master of the craft. He's been breaking all the rules and making the films others won't since the beginning of his career. His hands are all over this film, from the editing to the cinematography to the blocking. This entire film feels like one complete piece. All of the stories come together at the end, and to be honest, there aren't that many side stories. Most of the film is devoted to the main plot, which is incredibly strong. All the characters feed into one another. You never feel like a character exists just for the sake of existing or that they are. You never feel like a character exists just for the sake of existing. They are all crucial to the plot, and their character arcs revolve around the themes of the film. The one problem with this film has to do with the pacing. After Howard Beale's initial threat, there's a bit of flip-flopping with the studio. Different characters want to put him back on, other characters want to take him off forever. It all just kind of lags on a bit. However, it ends up landing on its feet and continuing forward, but that's one of the times that I could feel the film's plot dragging a teeny bit. Owen Roserman's editing is fantastic. It connects all of the different plot points, all of the different opinions, and really gives the feel of an endless stream of information and news coming out of the television. Network takes place entirely in New York City, and you really get a feel of the place. Most of the scenes take place in offices, and the film is a very upper management, white collar style of production design. It starts out with the characters and plot fitting perfectly into their environment, but slowly as the plot goes on and their plans descend into madness, the production design changes. The stage of the news show changes from an average talk show into a strange pseudo church. There is a narration in the film, which I don't 100% get the purpose of. It's never explained to my knowledge who is giving the voiceover. There is probably an explanation, I just did not catch it. However, I do think the voiceover is a good choice. It lends an almost documentary style feel to the film. Sidney Lumiere's direction is meticulous, creating visually dynamic and engaging scenes. As the network's power struggle is upended, you can feel that in the editing, you can feel that in the production design, and you can feel that in the and you can feel that in the cinematography. Lumet skillfully navigates tonal shifts between satire and drama. This film can get very funny on one hand and very serious on the other, but it still manages to juggle both perfectly. The cinematography contributes to the film's gritty and realistic atmosphere. Normally, I'd be a little put off by a film where the cinematography feels stuck in their time period. That's what makes a lot of indie early 2000s movies kind of hard to watch for me, because I can tell that they are so far stuck in their time. But network cinematography, while being a part of that, only heightens its story. It feels 70s, exuding the energy of the time and the place so perfectly. It makes the movie feel even more real. The screenplay in Network is razor sharp and moves at a breathtaking pace. Every character rips into their enemies with truly Shakespearean level dialogue. Faye Dunaway is everything you want out of a manipulative and power hungry character. She goes from a person to root for to a character that destroys her own creation when it gets out of hand. Dunaway got buried in awards for this film, and she deserved it. William Holden is the tragic character in Network, an old school guy whose morals can't survive in the modern world. 
He fights, but is confronted with cold indifference from the network and gets thrown out. I gave her the show, Schumacher. I'm putting the network news show under programming. Uh, Mr. Ruddy has had a mild heart attack and is not taking calls. In his absence, I'm making all network decisions, including one I've been wanting to make a long time. You're fired. I want you out of this building by noon. I'll call the security guards and have you thrown out if you're still here. Peter Finch is the person everyone remembers from this movie. His performance as Howard Beale is the tip of the spear, bursting with power and madness. Finch tells us to sit down and shut up, shattering any doubts the viewer may have had about the film as soon as Finch raises his voice. My favorite performance is from Robert Duvall. He embodies greed in the ladder of success so well. He stabs people in the back to try to be in charge, but is defeated in just one night. Duvall is so entertaining in every scene and works out the other actors brilliantly. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Beale, and I won't have it! Is that clear? Do you think you merely stopped a business deal? That is not the case. The Arabs have taken billions of dollars. But in this cast of all-time greats, shouting all-time great monologues, one man steps into frame for one scene and defeats them all. Ned Beatty as the CCA chairman. To write Finch's monologues is a feat, but if Paddy Chesky told me that he was going to write a character that would make Howard Beale look like an ant, I would have laughed him out of the room. But Chesky did it. Ned Beatty appears for one scene and destroys Beale in one of the most earth-shattering monologues of all time. His monologue comprises the message of this film so well. The old world has dissolved into a capitalistic one. Network is a film about the most powerful aspect of capitalism, its ability to adapt. Capitalism is able to sell our protests of it back to us, the same way the network is able to sell Howard Beale's rants back to its viewers. But as soon as Howard Beale threatens the higher affairs of capitalism, he is removed from the equation. Network is about how capitalism absorbs criticism and controls truth. The network creates a profit in Howard Beale and then destroys him in order to make way for something new. The truth is whatever they want it to be. This message is, of course, even more relevant today, with more than just network TV guiding the thoughts of the public. The most famous part of network is the... So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window open it and stick your head out and yell i'm as mad as hell and i'm not gonna take this anymore still i feel like focusing only on that moment which is amazing takes a little bit away from the film because it reduces it to that one iconic scene there are so many iconic moments in this film and so many incredible scenes if you jump to a random timestamp in network you will find a scene that is entertaining well crafted and incredibly well written Network is an exploration of corporate greed, sensationalism, and the ethics, or lack thereof, in the pursuit of ratings. Its relevance is only intensified in the digital age, where news and entertainment continue to blur together, and Network remains a thought-provoking and cautionary tale by one of the greatest directors of all time. <laughs>